Welcome everybody to a tutorial on a free beam calculator from Optimal Beam. You can access this tool by going to optimalbeam.com and registering to the free option. You click on this uh, link here and it takes you to the beam calculator. Now Optimal Beam is a really easy and simple calculator. Uh, it can solve both statically determinant and indeterminate structures. Statically determinant uh, includes uh, single span, overhanging, or cantilever beams. And indeterminate structures include uh, beams that have continuous spans. So today I'll do two uh, examples to de demonstrate the, the capabilities uh, of this tool. The first one will do something simple such as an overhanging beam. So let's start by uh, specifying whether we want uh, metric or imperial. Now with a flick of a switch you can convert between the units. So for this we're going to do it with metric. We're going to choose meters and uh, we're going to use kilonewtons as our force. So our beam length is going to be 3 meters and now we're going to start specifying the support types. So let's say I'm going to add a pin support at location 0 and then I'm going to add a roller support at location 2 meters. And now uh, I would like to add my loads on the structure. So you have the options of adding a point load, distributed or moment load. I'm going to add a distributed load. So my start location is going to be at 0 meters. My end location will be at 3 meters. My start load will be 5 kilonewtons and my end load is going to be 5 kilonewtons. Now you can also add uh, triangular loads or uniformly distributed loads. It's really up to you. And let's add this. <clears throat> and let's also add a point load. And it's going to be located 2.5 meters from the left of the beam. And the load will be 10 kilonewtons. Okay, and now that we have the model set up, um, we can run it. So now we get the results. So we're able to figure out what the reactions are. Uh, it also gives us the shear diagram and the moment diagram. Uh, from the shear diagram and the moment diagram, it gives you the maximum points uh, so let's say, for example, on the shear diagram, it tells us at location 2, we have negative um, 8.75 kilonewtons, and we also have 15 kilonewtons. And same thing for the moment. The maximum moment is 7.5 kilonewtons meter at location 2 meters. Now, let's say uh, you wanted to modify something in your model. Uh, you can easily do that by uh, clicking this edit option. And let's say we want to change our point load from 10 kilonewtons to 5 kilonewtons. You can just update it and everything will be updated automatically. So you can run again to find the new results. And here we go. Okay. So let's look at another example, maybe something a little bit more challenging. So let's start a new model. Now this time I want it to be in imperial units. So I'm going to flick the switch here. And I want it to be in feet. And I'm going to keep, I'm going to also change it from pounds to kips. <clears throat> so let's say our beam length will be 32 feet. I'm going to make it fixed at the left. I'm going to add another support. Let's say I'll add a pin support at 28 feet. Mm, now let's say I want to edit that and change it to 24 feet. Now I could have deleted it or modified it. Uh, let me add it again, 24 feet. So just to show you that, I could have just went here and said 28. So let's go back to 24. And I'm going to add another pin support at 32 feet. 
Um, I'm also now going to add my loads acting on the beam structure. So I'm going to add a distributed load from location 0 feet to 24. And it's going to be 2 kips per feet, 2 kips per feet. Um, I'll add another point load in between my two pins. So at location 30, or let's say, let's what's in between 28, and I'll add a 12 kip point force load. Okay, and let's run the model. Okay, so it tells us uh, our reaction forces at the fixed support is 25.5 kilonewtons uh, force reaction and a moment reaction of negative 108 feet. And then it also gives us the reactions at the two pin locations. And obviously it, it also draws for us our shear diagram and moment diagram. Uh, now in the full, uh, full pro version, uh, which is paid, uh, you'll also be able to uh, add your section. And after you add your section, you will also get access to your slope diagram, deflection diagram, and stress diagrams. Now, if you register uh, for the free option, in the first two weeks, you'll have access to the whole uh, uh, beam calculator. So all the features will be included. Um, and then after the two weeks, you'll have to register to the paid version to be able to access uh, these extra features. And you'll also be able to save your models, save sections, um, and access them at a future date. Now, if you have any questions or feedback, you can email us at contact at optimalbeam.com. We look forward to hearing from you.